Welcome back. This is Iowa Audio Review, and I am Jesse. And I just so happened to come across these puppies on eBay. And just so happened to know someone on the forum that I tend to hang around, uh, hifiguides.com, was asking about these DCM bookshelf speakers, or DCM by MTX, is what they say. So, I had to jump on them. They're uh, $79.99 on eBay, free shipping. Six and a half inch two-way bookshelf speaker system. And then other languages. So, and I just got these today. They have not been opened. They are, oops, sorry, the camera's on the table with these. TP160S-CH, so not the best name but whatever so get these puppies open with the old steak knife here no not actual puppies the figures sometimes yeah crazy about budget speakers I don't know what is in there. Hey? What? There's speakers in here. There's speakers for you? Yeah. And there's speakers on here. They are quite heavy too, this which is a good uh, yep. good start. Yep. Uh, I was worried when I received the box they'd be all you know, yep. really light. But the yep. box has pretty good weights. Let's see what's in the manual here real quick. Recyclable plastic. DCM loudspeakers, owner's manual. Uh, this goes with a couple versions, the TP160, 160C, 160S, 260, and 160BDP. So there's a couple, oh, there's gonna be a tower version, center channel version maybe. They got shown here, I don't know. Well, I guess they do kind of market these as a home theater, a budget home theater option. But I'm not really into home theater that much. I don't really watch movies. Uh, just some setup stuff. These, what were these? The SCH. No. Uh, oh, here's the S. So, Wolfer, six and a half inch Kevlar cone with butyl rubber surround with phase cap, tweeter, 25 millimeter, which would be one inch. Tetron dome with one inch voice coil. Tetron, I believe, is just a type of fabric dome. Frequency response rated for 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so that's quite good if that's true. Nominal impedance would be 8 ohms. Power handling 100 watts, RMS 200 peak, 87 dB at 2.83 volts per 1 watt or per. Uh, 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 I can't talk right now. Sensitivity, 87 decibels at 2.83 volts at one meter. It's kind of nice to give you that spec. So they're eh, they're not super efficient, but they're all right. 87 decibels, not bad. Uh, they weigh 12 pounds a piece. Dimensions, 13 high, eight wide, nine and a quarter deep. So, cool. Let's get them on here. They are seem to be packaged about like any other bookshelf speaker I've gotten recently. There we go. Let's just get them out of the box. Bigger than the Sony CS5 that you just reviewed. But those are only five and a quarter. These are six and a half. <gasps> Come on! Oh! Ho ho! Got caught on the plastic there. Oh, that's. Hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? You guys are kind of always going to be in an above looking down view, so. This one. Sorry, I'm a little hasty tonight. I had a few uh, beers for some social lubricant.
new speakers always get me excited. Especially ones that seem to be of good quality and for a fair price. This is simulated wood or a vinyl veneer or whatever, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't think wood veneer really affects the sound that much. It does seem to be a decent quality fake wood. It's a bit textured. So, uh, you know, it looks nice. Well, let's start with the rear. Let's see, we got DCM, loudspeakers, blah, blah, blah. Same thing I already read and the badge there, which is kind of nice. Um, some pretty nice uh, bi ampable binding posts here, which I, I think this is a bit of a, I don't know if you can see them here. They are awfully pretty. You got these really nice chrome bi ampable binding posts, which the bi ampable thing is, I think, more of a selling gimmick. You know, I mean, you could buy amp these, but I don't see why, really. But very nice. I'll give them that. Very nice. Some nice looking. Here, let's unscrew them once. They seem to be. Whoops. Seem to be pretty nice. Give me a. Where's my nanner plugs? Daddy. We're gonna do a depth check. A lot of these new speakers, like I mentioned on the CS fives, like to look the part. Oh, just as all the others. Very nice looking banana plug that's not nearly as deep as it should be. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, it's okay, but I just can't stand it. How much more does it cost to make a freaking binding post the depth it should be? I mean, you don't have to use banana plugs. They don't, they're not gonna improve your sound quality, really. You just wanna put a bare copper wire in there and tighten it down, that'll be just as good. And if you don't unhook your speakers constantly, there's really no need for banana plugs. So, let's move on to what we're all here for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Typical plastic grill. Plastic nubs, DCM, fine, good enough. This, now that's pretty. For 80 bucks, this nice Kevlar cone with a, uh, let's be honest, it's not really a face plug, it's a dust cap, face, uh, it's a dust cap shaped like a face plug. Typically, a real face plug is not attached to the cone. I mean, maybe, but most of the time it's not. Um, soft dome, one in soft dome, Tetron Twitter with a DCM logo stamped into the face plate. That's some good weight to them. I'll give them that. I mean, the cherry, uh, I believe this is supposed to be a cherry style finish. Um, Oh, they are rear ported if you didn't notice already. So be careful about placing these uh, too close to a wall. Um, oh, made in China. Doesn't surprise me. DCMSpeakers.com, designed and engineered in the USA. They do not say MTX on these things anywhere. And I didn't, you know, whatever, it's my bad. I didn't really look too deep to see if it's, if, is it the MTX that's well known in like car audio? I'm assuming it is. Is this going to, is DCM going to be like the home branch where MTX is going to remain in the car or automotive? So far, we'll set those there. Not really seeing any terrible design flaws. You can see a little bit of maybe like glue around the uh, edges here. Nothing really major. I mean, you're not going to see it from your chair. I mean, if you got some annoying friends that come over and gawk at your shit, maybe, but. A um, little bit of crud there, but it just wiped off, so I'm cool with that. Yeah, good weight. I mean, I don't know if you can see the edges here. Right there. Oop, right there. It's only about. <sighs> My lighting sucks right now. There's my finger. 
See this? It's only about a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm hoping the sidewalls aren't actually that's I hope this is just like a cutout for the backboard to go in there. I really hope the sidewalls aren't that thick. Let's listen. Hold on. Not bad. Not bad. Feel a little bit of pretty solid. So what else is there to say? Um, nice, uh, beautiful rubber. Feels pretty thick. I think, um, I hope they're 45. Don't get down to 45. I won't be able to tell for sure until I do some testing if I ever get around to it. We'll get them hooked up. Uh, play some copyright free music on them. First, I think I'm going to hook them up and then I'm just going to run like a like a 40 hertz sine wave from and get these woofers kind of stretched out. So, just sit tight. We'll get these things, let me move this over. We'll get these things flipped around and hooked up over here. And we'll be right back. After finishing the video last night, I decided to do the sound demo as a separate video. So I'm just going to wrap up this first one and kind of just leave it as a quick overlook slash review. Um... I did some more looking into DCM, and it looks like DCM is pretty much MTX or uh, sub-company of MTX or whatever. Um, it seems like, M I know MTX used to make home speakers, um, and they make car audio as well, but it seems like the, the DCM is a lot of the home stuff um, from anything from like the bookshelves I got, from center channels, tower speakers, in-wall speakers. And some of you may already know this, I've never actually heard of DCM. So, if you haven't heard of DCM, I would uh, highly suggest you go online or on eBay and look around. They got some really cool looking stuff at really good prices. I mean, all the stuff I review, I buy out of pocket. And it kind of sucks because they have a lot of stuff I want to review. But I can't just go around buying tons of speakers right now. I got a pile of stuff already that has to be reviewed. So, I kind of got to hold back and try not to bury myself and get these reviews done one at a time. But I think that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more about these, the second video or the other part is going to have the sound demo and I'm going to open them up. So the second video is going to be much longer. And, uh, you know, we'll talk, as we uh, listen to them, we'll talk about them a little bit more and open them up and talk about a little bit more and just be a little bit more in depth. So, uh, if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for that video. Otherwise, I hope this short, brief video helped you out, maybe helped you find some nice budget bookshelf speakers. But in that case, uh, I'm going to keep moving on with the other stuff i got to do, so like and subscribe, and hopefully you'll uh, stick around for more videos.